let's create another roof here so i will select these two parts and if you now press s we scale all this and that's because last time i go with y on keyboard to separate this and now we can press s but without proportional editing so just disable this here and now we can press s we can scale this uh, roof here and gz to bring this down and now all t extrude along normals and just move mouse up i will press with uh, holding shift and right click we can place cursor here and now i will go with cube s z scale this on z axis s x to scale this on x axis and now we can move this out maybe s z again rx to rotate this little to about here and now we can go with ctrl r and add bunch of loop cuts here and ctrl b to bevel this and now alt e extrude along normals and just move mouse up to scale this and now i will press uh, L over this part and control B to add one bevel but with holding shift I want be precise okay we can now go with SZ again to scale this little on the axis and now I will again add some imperfections because this is abandoned house and I will select few part of this and I will go with proportional editing and G and you can see this brush here if we scale this up we get uh, influence over bigger area here maybe something about this and you can also add smaller details here but let's now create this part here and also we have small on this right side and let's go now with uh, shift A and mesh and cylinder now i will go with numpad 7 and to edit mode and also x-ray mode because uh, without x-ray mode if we select this we select only top part but not bottom here so we need to go to x-ray mode and let's now go to here and delete vertices and now we can select these two and ex to extrude this on X axis and now we can press A to select all and SY scale this on Y axis and let's see how this look so SX and XY to scale this and now I will go with uh, edge select and with holding alt I will select all this loop here and I will now press S to scale this and move this uh, about here let's see how this look we can now back uh, our reference to see where this go and uh, now I will go to x-ray mode and let's move this to about here but uh, we don't need to uh, even follow this reference just make something similar okay and now i will maybe select this with alt again and i will go with e to extrude and now s to scale this okay let's just move this uh, inside but uh, let's move all this inside here and now we can uh, go with all T extrude along normals just add some thickness here okay let's add some uh, these columns here so for this we can just go to shift and right click here and I will go with numpad 7 and mesh cube let's scale this down let's move this little out scale this down and let's just create few of these uh, columns here 
I will go with SZ to scale this on the axis. If you want to scale this only on X and Y axis and uh, remove Z axis, you can go with S to scale, hold Shift to remove and press Z. So now we can scale this but uh, not on the axis so we scale this on x and y axis but if this is too hard for you you can just press s to scale this down and now s z to scale only on the axis okay let's place one here and uh, with shift the y move this here on y axis and now i will go with uh, shift the x and place one here Shift the Y and move one on Y axis. But let's now add some imperfections because this is perfectly flat and you can go with Control R, add loop cut here and now you can go with G to move this here and maybe Control B to bevel this. And with Tab we can skip to object mode and we can select this one and again with Tab we can Go to edit mode, control R, G, control B. I think this is uh, okay and we can now select uh, all these columns here and go with tab to edit mode, press A to select all, control B and add one bevel. But you can see that this bevel don't work correctly, that's because if you go to edit mode, to object mode we can see the scale is not one so control A apply scale and now tab to go to edit mode control B or bevel and with holding shift you can be precise and my recommendation is to turn on cavity when you do modeling like this because uh, if you go with numpad 1 we cannot see these edges but if we click here and uh, if we enable cavity we can see all these lines here and you can also set this to both these edges will be even more visible let's create also this small part on right side so i will duplicate this with shift d x and i will now press s x minus one to flip this on x axis and let's now press s to scale this and we can just add a small part uh, of this house here, so just with cube, numpad 1 to go to front orthographic, SX to scale this on X axis, SZ. And we can go with uh, tab to edit mode, 3 to go to face selection and just move this here but all this is just about silhouette so if you go number at one we can see just silhouette of this and nothing more and i will go here with edit mode a and control b to add bevel 